hello friends welcome back to cat cam station today's video tutorial is going to be a little bit different because in the beginning of this video i'm going to give answers to the question asked by my viewers so hopefully i've got a question or query from one of my viewers whose name is kevin willie so big shout out to you and after giving answer to mr uh, kevin uh, I will be giving you a video tutorial of a bonus content at the end of this questioning and answering thing. So uh, the main content you will be able to learn after watching this video is a revolving command and how to apply edge blend and chamfering and at the end you will be able to learn how to use a, a circular pattern. So make sure you watch this video till the end and if you are a beginner and want to learn something new then you are on the right place so make sure you watch my video and learn something new also subscribe like share and comment to keep me motivated so without wasting any time let's get started so on the first step mr kevin willie asked me this question Hey, great video and content. Thanks so much once again for taking time to do videos for newbies like me. I also has a question. When you have multiple sketch object in the same sketch that is one circle, one square and one triangle and when I exit the sketch and only want to pick one of those object instead of all three, let's say to only extrude one of them. How can I do that when I click on the extrude command and choose one sketch object the system automatically chooses all three objects thanks again so thank you mr. Kevin Willie for asking me this question so as you are asking me that how to um, extrude a single element from a group of sketch so let's jump on to the situation now as you can see here as you saying that what or how we can extrude only the circle or only the square or only the rectangular out of a single uh, sketch we have drawn here so let me just show you that when I click on or double click on the circle it will activate the it will activate the sketch like this so this means all these sketches a circle or square and a rectangle or oh, sorry triangle is drawn into a single plane at once so once you exited the sketch and want to extrude by hitting X on the keyboard or you can click on extrude over here and once you try to extrude the red triangle or square or a circle it will automatically select all of these like this it will extrude every object in a single sketch at once so what if you want to extrude a single square or a circle or a, or a rectangle in order to do that this is very simple so once you do this click X on your keyboard to activate the extrude command and just simple as it is just hold your mouse left button hold your left button of the mouse and drag it to make a selection like this and leave the mouse like this it will only select the circle and extrudes it as you want it you can then click apply as you can see the only circle is extruded what if you want to extrude the red triangle over here just do it again just uh, hold the left mouse button and drag it and make a selection of a triangle to extrude it and click apply and you can do this again with the square as well this is very easy as you can see let's jump on to the uh, another situation like here what if the sketches are 
intersecting each other on the second view let me just rotate it a little bit once again once you try to extrude a simple by holding over by clicking x on your keyboard and uh, want to try to extrude as you can see it is selecting the uh, edge of the square you can exit it and uh, make it let me just make it a view front view and then x hold uh, type x on your keyboard and make a selection like this it will only extrude the circle and uh, if you want to extrude the triangle make a selection of the triangle as you can see here when i drag my selection and if you want to make selection of only a rectangle or if you want to make selection of only the circle make sure you select only circle or as you can see this is the selection box the red red color selection box uh, everything which you want to select should be inside the circle then it will select only that entity as you can see while i have while i am selecting the circle and the square and a uh, triangle is out of the box even when it is a partially selection uh, partially inside the selection box it is not selecting it in order to select the uh, triangle and circle you have to make a selection of uh, uh, you have to um, include everything inside the selection to make it select like this so this is how you can extrude while you have multiple sketches intersecting with each other like this let me just rotate it and let me show you how it going to look like this is how it is going to look so this is it now jump on to the fourth uh, sorry third example as you can see it is very difficult to extrude um, this sketch or make selection like while I, I while i am trying to extrude a circle it is going to select the line as well so in this example let me just select the sketch every sketch like this it is not extruding it okay so in order to do that once you double click on it rotate a bit now we have inside the uh, activated sketch that you can edit it now while activated the sketch you can click on extrude it will extrude everything like this but what if you want to uh, deselect some part of it so in order to deselect your um, extrusion process or you want to deselect some entities it is very simple as well you can simply hold shift on your keyboard and make a selection of the entity which you do not want to extrude like this hold shift and select this line like this it is deselecting the features one by one as it is as you can see it is very easy to do this type of thing so i hope you understand how to extrude things uh, once at a time so thank you mr kevin for asking me this question now i wish you have cleared your doubt after watching this video so now is the time for the bonus content so let's jump on to that part now as you can see on your screen we are on the sketching environment and as you can see uh, the sketch we are going to use in this uh, tutorial which gives you the information about how to revolve how to give edge blend and how to chamfer it and how to give a uh, circular pattern in this object so to do this let's just start with creating a sketch profile 
as you can see if you haven't watched my previous video in which i show you how to revolve feature then you can watch that video as well by clicking on the i button on your screen so let's do this again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the line command or you can press l on your keyboard to activate the line command so draw the rough sketch i'm just going to draw the rough sketch or a rough outline as you can see here and after that I am going to use the actual dimension to make it fully defined sketch like this so now hit T on your keyboard to activate the trim command then you can trim it like this hold ctrl plus W to hide your dimensions by clicking on negative sign under the PMI objects and close it to hide the dimensions now hit D on your keyboard to activate the smart or rapid dimension so at the bottom here it is you can enter the diameter from here from this star point to the center like this enter 8 millimeter radius and uh, outer diameter from here to this is going to be 34 divided by 2 then uh, the OD of the or the major diameter from here to this center point is going to be 98 divided by 2 like this and uh, the inner diameter from here from the center point is going to be 90 divided by 2 okay so and the bottom diameter from here from this position to this is going to be 34 divided by 2 as we know that this is not a parallel this should not be a parallel line so I'm gonna click on this like here and I'm gonna delete this so that I can make it a little draft inside of it so now is the time to give dimension to the top vertex of this sketch which is going to be 28 divided by 2 so now is the time to give height to our object so from the bottom from here to this point the dimension is going to be 44 millimeter let me just drag it a little bit upward and uh, from bottom to this position the dimension from this position to this is going to be 28 millimeter and uh, from top here to this is going to be 15 millimeter and uh, from here to this point this is going to be 25 millimeter so I guess something is still moving so I guess I have to uh, fix it so this is 86 millimeter of diameter so you can hit D on your keyboard and give it a radius half of the diameter 86 divided by 2 so now it should be completely defined so I guess we are good to go to use the revolve command hit ctrl plus W to hide the dimension and hit Q on your keyboard to exit the sketch now is the time to revolve this feature so in order to do that go under the feature group extrude and revolve select the profile like this and under the specify your vector you have to click the vertical uh, Z direction or vertical axis and now you can see the revolved 
feature on your screen as we want it to be this is good now is the time to use the edge blend so in order to do edge blend you can see under the feature group we have edge blend once you click on it while you still have edge blend uh, dialog box open make the radius equals to 5 millimeter and click the outer edge of the circle and click apply instead of ok because after uh, clicking on apply the edge blend command dialog box still opened then you can change the uh, radius of the object like here enter 3 millimeter of radius rotate it and select the inner edge of this circle and click apply now again change the radius to 2 millimeter and select the edge from here and click ok apply and then this is also going to be 2 millimeter and click apply and you can exit the edge blend command so now as you can see here now is the time to create a chamfer so how are we gonna do that the chamfer command is just right besides this here as you can see here right besides the edge blend once you click on the chamfer it will give you the option so as you can see on your sketch that we have one millimeter of um, uh, chamfer dimension at an angle of 45 so it means we have to use symmetric you can also select um, asymmetric or offset an angle so it depends upon you so enter the distance one millimeter and just let it be like symmetric and select the outer edge like this and click ok now as you can see we have just hold down control alt and f on your keyboard to make it front view as you can see here now is the time to create a circular pattern in order to do that you have to create a sketch on this face and click ok now as you can see from the uh, sketch we have four holes of diameter 6 on PCD 60 millimeter so that we have to draw circle of 60 millimeter diameter in order to draw the circle hit O on your keyboard to activate the circular command start from its origin and drag it outwards and enter 60 like this exit the sketch now you can uh, click on it to change it into reference line because we don't want to extrude or anything like this control plus W and hide your dimension now is the time to create circle of diameter just do this and enter uh, the diameter of 6 millimeter like this as you can see the diameter or the circle is freely movable on the PCD so in order to make it fixed hit C on your keyboard select the vertical constraint select the center of this circle and the center here and it will align it vertically now it is fixed and is not movable Control plus W to hide the dimension that's it now from the drop down list as you can see here pattern curve under the layout make sure you are under circular select the curve which you want to rotate okay then enter the number of circles that you need enter 4 on your keyboard then specify the rotation point so select this and select the circle the PCD circle once you select it it will distribute the circle around it but you have to enter the angle here you can specify the angle or you can just enter 90 degrees 
of pitch angle to distribute it along the uh, pitch circle diameter equally with equal distance between them and then you can click OK. Now is the time to extrude cut it. So you can change its orientation then exit the sketch. Now hit X on your keyboard select the circle you can change its direction under the N value select until next then under the boolean operation select subtract and click OK now you can see we have created our solid model successfully so now you should be able to draw this sketch so what you have learned from this video how to create a sketch or how to create a, a revolved feature out of a, a pattern first we have create a pattern or the profile which is going to be the uh, initial base for our revolve feature and after that we use edge blend feature here in these three points and uh, or another and the outer of circle or outer edge of this object and after that we use the chamfer command like this and the on the outer edge of this object and then we use a circular pattern sketching technique to create holes on pitch circle diameter and extrude cut it so this is it guys i hope at least you get something useful from this tutorial and if you want more of these kinds of videos then make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon to get latest updates from my side you are watching cat game station signing out for now